everyone and welcome back to my channel. We are back with another Sims 4 video today. Once again, I am building in the Sims 4 and today we are building a 100 baby challenge house for my 100th video. Actually, it's my 101st video, but we're going to ignore that and we're going to pretend it's my 100th video and we're just going to go on with it, okay? Because it's actually my 101st because it's not my fault, okay? Bunk beds came out, so, you know, it's not really my fault. And I had planned that I was going to build a 100 baby challenge house for my 100th video. So, you know, it's really not my fault. And, you know, we're here. We're here building a family home. I've never actually done the 100 baby challenge. I know, like, everyone does it. I've started it and gotten nowhere. So, if this is not actually a good 100 baby challenge house, <laughs> I did my best, okay? It has lots of toddler beds, lots of children's bunk beds. Let's go. I finally got to use bunk beds. I was like, you know what? Bunk beds, it's now is their time to shine. Bunk beds are here to stay. Bunk beds, okay? Bunk beds. I was so excited. I was like, oh, bunk beds. We're doing bunk beds. Oh, I'm so happy. So, you know, oh, it was so good. I had a lot of fun building this house. So it was a fun house. So, you know, I don't build, I mean, I guess I build a lot of family houses, but like, I don't use toddlers. So, I don't put, you know, baths in my houses so that was a challenge i had to play test this house that was fun you know i didn't know what i was doing so i ended up the toddlers are the only ones that have an ensuite which is kind of weird i'm gonna be honest that's not <laughs> it doesn't make sense but the little freaks need their own stupid bath so you know there's not much I can do about that, okay? I... <laughs> the stupid little toddlers in their stupid little bath. And they can't take a shower. It's so annoying. So, yeah. You know, I can't... There's not... There's nothing I can do about it, okay? I can't fix the fact that the little toddler freaks, you know, get their own ensuite. I can't change that, okay? You know, I'm sorry about that fact, but I i mean, I can't change it. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. I was really annoyed about that. I tried to avoid it. I was like, oh, I don't want the toddler to have it on sweep. But I mean, if you're playing with the 100 baby challenge, you're gonna be happier at the fact that you have three bathrooms more than the fact that the stupid toddlers have an on sweep. So... I mean, pros and cons to that, 100 baby challenge, you're going to be way happier that you have three showers, one bath, like one actual bath, not like one bathroom. You know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Three bathrooms, you know, three, the, the kids rule the attic. It's pretty cool. I, I'm pretty proud of this house. It's kind of cool. I I almost use a ladder just to the fact that it is an attic. There's like this narrow, there's this narrow little like skinny exit thing that I just used for aesthetic reasons and more space on the bottom that I almost did a ladder and then like a really skinny hallway. And then I thought that would be scary to walk down. If I was a child, I wouldn't want to walk down that. So I don't want to make my Sims walk down that. So... Also, that would also be in the toddler's room. <laughs> and I was like, this is going to mess up my hallway. So I just did the staircase in a different place and didn't do a ladder. You know, hopefully I got everything in here. Hopefully we're all good. Got lots of skill building things. I mean, there's not any like skill building things for an adult. But I mean, you can add that in there. Like if you want an easel or something for you to make money, you know, there. this is like, I think this is like 70,000 simoleons. So this is going to be when you have like a lot of money. 
you know, you're going to be, like, well on your way. Though it is not huge. I will admit it's not that big. I think it has three toddler beds and, like, four children's beds. But you could add more. You know, you could easily fit another toddler bed, I think, in here. And another, you could fit another bunk bed easily in here. So you could definitely add more. I, I just didn't really see a need to do that. The toddler bed might be tight, but you could, you could add more if you really needed to. So I thought, I thought it was fine. Maybe I'm wrong. Like I said, never played the 100 baby challenge, but you know, now that there's bunk beds, I might, I might play the 100 baby challenge. I don't know. Now that I can have a smaller house with more children take up less space. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I will. No, that's so many children. I watched Kelsey and Peachy K do it on BuzzFeed Multiplayer. Apparently, she's almost done with it, which is incredible. I watched her when she was doing it at the beginning. I watched her do, like, I think it was, like, halfway through. I watched her do it for a very long time. And then I just, like, ran out of time watching it. Like, I would keep watching her do it, you know, but I just don't have time for that. It's really more the fact that I'm a high school student and have a concussion. That's more the fact that I stopped watching her. She's pretty awesome, you know, and I love her videos. But, you know, I went back and looked because I was trying to see what... <laughs> I was trying to see what things to put in, like, toddler rooms and stuff that are good for the 100 Baby Challenge because I knew she was well into the 100 Baby Challenge. And, you know, she would know, obviously. And apparently, she's on her 99th baby. And I was like, what? H how is she almost done? Like, I, this is crazy to me. I watched her from the very beginning. This is insane to me. Now she's, like, almost done. Sorry, I'm dying over this. If you haven't seen her 100 Baby Challenge, go watch it. If you want to watch, like, 200 episodes of a 100 Baby Challenge. Also, if you want to watch, like, five years worth of a 100 Baby Challenge, you can watch Little Simsies. Hers literally <laughs> took her five years. So that, that would be fun if you want to do that, you know. That, that would be really fun. Um, did not watch hers, but... I, I did not, personally, because that seemed like a long time for me to spend watching a 100 Baby Challenge. Personally, like, I'd be down to do that. Like, I feel, like, kind of inclined to do that, you know, just because I want to get, like, attached to characters, you know? Like, that sounds really fun to me, but then also part of me is, like, Toddlers are demons. I hate babies in this game. And no. Now I'm realizing that I didn't put a place to put bassinets. Uh, you can put them on the porch. Yeah. The porch is a great place. There's a huge porch in the front. Giant porch. I didn't put any rocking chairs or anything out there, so... Perfect for the bassinets. You know, when I was doing the Super Sim Challenge, I put my triplets out there that I, you know, spun and accidentally got. So, you know, porches are great for babies. So you can put them out there. You know, that'll be perfect. <laughs> I am realizing now that I did not do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, porches are great. Yeah, porches are definitely the best place for babies. Yeah, definitely. 100%. I, yeah, literally, babies are kind of loud. And so they wake up your entire house in the sense and your toddlers wake up and everything is really annoying. So if you put them out on the porch, they won't wake you up. So I'm literally not joking. Like, I know I sound like I'm joking, but literally put them out on your porch. It's a covered porch, at least. When I had them in the Super Sim Challenge, it wasn't even covered. So, I mean, at least, <laughs> at 
at least it's covered. I mean, it's a perfect place. I mean, it's a big porch. So, perfect, <laughs> perfect 100 baby house for my 100th video. So, while I'm, this video's ending, I have like five more minutes in this video. So, I'm going to talk about my last 100 videos and how this channel now has 65 subscribers and how I now have 65 more friends and how that is crazy to me and how I'm gonna be sappy and how I can put babies on porches and people will watch me and how that makes me, you know, happy and, you know, thank you for that. So, you know, I can just be stupid and forget to put a room for babies and stuff like that and then people will still watch me, you know? And I don't, like, have a lot of people watching me, obviously. <laughs> but that still means a lot to me that some people watch me and comment on my videos and, like, consistently comment. And I get to, you know, have a- even- so there are some people that consistently comment and I, like, get to know those people in different ways and get to know what they like. And then I see new people that comment new things and subscribe to me and stuff like that and get to know there what they like and that's really interesting to me and YouTube is a very interesting thing to me sometimes a little frightening <laughs> I will admit that it's a little sad and a little disappointing sometimes but you know I've been doing this now it's what is it like March the end of yeah it's the end of March I've been doing this since May so, um, you know, it's been almost a year and I haven't obviously grown as much as I hoped, but also part of me is more than I thought. Like, part of me was like, no one's going to like me. So that's kind of crazy, you know, that anyone likes me and then those comments that are like, you're so underrated, this is amazing, you know, it's just so nice to hear, and I love you guys, so that was sappy, and <laughs> I didn't do like a 50 video thing, so now I'm being sappy for this one, so. I just choked on my water and we're gonna entirely ignore that. I am incapable of drinking water and it is like kind of not good. It's really actually pretty bad at the fact of how bad I am at drinking water. Like every time I spill it on me, every time I, I don't know, like I choke, I, yeah, it's just really not good. Like I have a water bottle that that has like time of day, you're not gonna be able to see this. Oh yeah, okay, you can. So it has like time of day, I'm gonna be really small in the corner, but it has time of day so that I know how much I'm drinking. But basically, it's not good <laughs> cause every time I open it, it explodes. Like not every time, but sometimes. And it's not good cause I already have an issue drinking water, so. <laughs> I just constantly have water on myself. I have an issue. I need to fix that. So if anyone has any suggestions for how to fix an issue with drinking, please put it in the comments down below and I'm gonna go. <laughs> so that's what we figured out about this video that I have an issue with that. And so after, you know, a hundred videos, We've gotten so close that I can just talk about my issues with drinking water. So, you know, it's like super important. <laughs> we talk about really important stuff here. So thank you guys for that. I'm gonna go. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And come back next time to see some mistakes with bunk beds. Bye everybody.